The Windows Server 2019 F8 boot menu is not there, but we can restore it. It only takes a few commands to do it. So we want to boot off of the ISO if you're in a virtual machine or boot off the DVD if you're on a physical computer and get to this point where you have the Windows setup menu. Now, if you don't have a DVD uh, player in your computer, you can get one for about $15 or $20 online or at a, your local store. So we'll go ahead and click Next. And now we're going to click the Repair Your Computer option. And that will bring us up to a new menu. It will give us some additional options to choose from. And from here, we're going to click on the Troubleshoot button. And then with these three options here, we'll click on the Command Prompt. So to get our F8 Advanced Boot menu back, we have to type two simple commands, bcd edit slash set. And then we're going to do these brackets, put in boot mgr. Then it'll be followed with display boot menu and the word yes. Hit enter. Now that we've done that first command, let's go ahead and do the uh, same command again. But this time we're going to replace it the second command with a timeout. And that timeout we're going to do for 15 seconds, although you can do 10 or 20 or whatever it is that you'd like. And we'll go ahead and hit enter. And that gives us the time limit that we'll have to press the button. Let's go ahead and type exit. And now we're going to want to turn off the PC. Now, if you have a virtual machine, go into File, Settings, and then just make sure that your hard drive is the top thing to boot from. If you are on a physical computer, you don't have to worry about that. Just let it skip the uh, boot from DVD prompt and just let it continue on until you get to this menu. All right, so let's go ahead and click Start. And we're going to get a new option that we didn't see before. And there is our F8 Advanced Boot menu. We'll click uh, the F8. And we have lots of different options here. So uh, many people like to go into safe mode so they can go fix some things. So we can go ahead and choose safe mode. It'll boot up into safe mode. We can log in. And then the next time we go to reboot, it will just reboot normally. It won't go into safe mode the second time around. And there is the login screen. We'll go ahead and log in. And now we're going into the safe mode. And we can see we're in safe mode because safe mode is in all four corners. So once we're all done with what we want to do there, we can just go ahead, like I said earlier, shut down. And when you restart, it will restart into normal mode.